Now using the previous theorem we have learned, we have to solve the further problems. So the second question here is, without performing division, state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal form or a non-terminating decimal form. So for the previous problem we have to uh, use a long form of division. In this problem we are not going to do that. Instead we are going to use the theorem we have learned. The first bit here we have a 13 divided by 3125. So the denominator here can be written as 13 divided by 5 power 5. Since the denominator is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, we can simply say that this is terminating. For the second bit we have 11 divided by 12. The prime factors of uh, 12 are uh, 2 square into 3 power 1. Here our den our denominator does not uh, uh, I mean has the prime factor 3 so this will simply be a non-terminating repeating decimal since denominator is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. For the third bit we have 64 divided by 455. So when I calculated for the prime factors of 455 I got uh, 64 divided by 5 into 7 into 13. Since the denominator isn't in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, we will uh, have here a non-terminating repeating decimal. For the fourth bit, we have here 15 divided by 1600. So 1600 in the form of uh, prime factors when I after doing prime factorization you would get uh, 2 power 6 into 5 power 2. So since the denominator is in the form of uh, 2 power n into 5 power n therefore it is a terminating decimal. For the fifth bit we have here 29 divided by 343. 29 divided by 343 the prime factors are uh, 7 so it, uh, it can be written as 7 cube. So since not in the form of sorry denominator not in the form of power n into 5 power m therefore it is non-terminating repeating decimal. For the sixth bit, we have here 23 divided by 2 cube into 5 square. Since the denominator is already given in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, therefore it is a terminating decimal. For the seventh bit, we have over here. 129 divided by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5. Since the denominator is not in the form of in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, therefore it is a non-terminating repeating decimal. So these sort of questions uh, you can uh, expect uh, for half mark bits or uh, one mark short answers in your exam paper and for the 8 bit here we have a 9 by 15 which is equal to 9 by 5 into 3 so here I can uh, cancel this 3 and uh, 9 simply and write this as 3 divided by 5 since the denominator here has a prime factor 5, it is terminating. For the next bit we have uh, 
36 uh, divided by 100 and 100 can be written as uh, 2 square into 5 square so since uh, the denominator is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power n we can write it as uh, a terminating decimal and for the last bit here we have uh, 77 divided by 210 so 77 divided by 210 we can write it as 7 into 3 into 2 into 5 so we can simply cancel out here 7 1 zero, 11 zero. still our denominator has a prime factor 3 into 2 into 5 since uh, denominator not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power n therefore it is a non-terminating repeating decimal.